Hey guys, today I want to talk a little bit about uh, section 11.1 .1, and that being the rectangular coordinate system and something called ordered pairs. So let's begin by taking a look at maybe the rectangular coordinate system and, and kind of get a sense of what that looks like. So if we were to draw this thing that looks like a graph, essentially uh, two number lines, if you will, one called the x-axis, the other called the y-axis, there would be places on this, on these number lines, that would correspond to points. So, for example, if we were to, let's say, take a look and, and pick a, a point uh, on this graph, and let's just mark that point right there, okay? Now, on the x-axis, that point corresponds to 1, 2. On the y-axis, that point corresponds to 1, 2, 3. And so what we can do is we can label this point using an ordered pair 2, comma 3. Now, an ordered pair traditionally looks like x, comma y. It's an x value and then a y value. So we can use these ordered pairs essentially to plot points on this thing called a rectangular coordinate system, these two number lines, this x-axis and y-axis together. Let's, uh, let's take a, uh, a look at a couple of other points. Let's say we were to uh, take a look for a second, maybe at the point, um, let's go negative 3, comma, comma 5. Okay, so what that would mean is the x value here is negative 3 and the y value is positive 5. So starting from the center of the rectangular coordinate system, which by the way is known as the point of origin, and that actual point is 0, comma 0, what we would do is we would count out on the x-axis, 1, 2, 3 spaces to correspond there, and then we count up on the y-axis 5 spaces, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So approximately right here we have negative 3 comma 5. Now I want you to notice that it's called an ordered pair simply because it's in alphabetical order. X comma Y. So again starting from the center, the point of origin, 0 comma 0, we would do the X value first and so we'd come out negative 3 spaces and then we'd use the Y value and go up 5 spaces and we'd end up right here at negative 3 comma 5. Let's take a look at another point. This time, uh, let's, let's go down into this area of the graph and uh, let's take a look at, let's say, negative, uh, let's make it negative 5 comma negative, um, nah, let's don't use 3. Let's use negative 5 comma negative 4 negative 5 comma negative 4. So if we're going to find negative 5 comma negative 4, remember the x value is the first value, the y value is the second value, and so we would start from the center, we go out 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so that would align us about here, and then from there we'd go down 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Coming down, lining up, that's nah, going to fall about right there, so the um, the point negative 5 comma negative 4 ends up about there. Let's do one more point. Let's go into this area of the graph that we haven't really looked at yet. And so let's say we want to find, we want to find this time our x, y ordered pair. Let's let it be, uh, let's go uh, 1 comma and we'll say negative 2. 1 comma negative 2. So we'd simply come out from the center to the right one space and then down negative 2. So 1 comma negative 2. Alright? So guys, one way to look at these ordered pairs, okay, one way to look at these ordered pairs, and we're talking here O-R-D-E-R, -E <laughs> let 
Let me try that again. O R D E R E D P A I R S ordered pairs X comma Y. One way to look at these ordered pairs is to simply think of Okay, I've got my two number lines, my x-axis, my y-axis, whatever number falls first is my x-value, whatever number falls second is my y-value, and so I'll use my x-axis first when I go to plot that point, I use my y-value second, and I have plotted my ordered pair. Now, there's another aspect to ordered pairs that I want to talk about just for a quick second. Actually, before I do that, what I would like you to do, even before we before we do that is I'd like you to do a quick exercise to make sure you're on board with me as far as ordered pairs okay suppose I were to give you some ordered pairs and ask you to plot these points on a rectangular coordinate system on a graph so we're gonna go with the points um, 2 comma um, let's go 2 comma 6 as one let's do another ordered pair of negative 3 comma uh, 2. Let's do another ordered pair of uh, negative 6, comma, negative 1. And let's do one final ordered pair of 3, comma, negative 5. Okay? So what you have right there, guys, are essentially four sets of ordered pairs, and I'd like you uh, to, to graph those. So if you would right now, draw yourself a quick graph, or if you have graph paper, you're certainly welcome to use that. Draw yourself a quick graph. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, this certainly is going to work better if you have graph paper, but but uh, you can certainly draw your own graph on paper if you'd like. Uh, pause the video for a second, see if you can plot these points, and then we'll come back and check ourselves right quick. Okay, pause the video, go to work. Okay, glad to see you back. I hope you were able to find those points. Let's take a quick look and do a, a, a little check for yourself. Let's start off with 2 comma 6 was our first ordered pair that we're going to work from. So we're going to, we, we know that this is the x-axis, this is the y-axis, so we're going to come out 2 and we're going to go up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so that is my first ordered pair of 2 comma 6. Then I'll go negative 3 comma 2, so out here on the x-axis, negative 3, up just two spaces. So we're looking at the ordered pair of negative 3 comma positive 2. Remember, that's the x, that's the y value <coughs> in the ordered pair. And then we're going to go to negative 6 comma negative 1, so we come out here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and down only one space from there. And so that ordered pair, again the x value, going out was negative 6, and the y value going down was negative 1, and so we have that. And then finally, the last ordered pair was 3, comma, negative 5, so on the x-axis, go out to the 3, and then come down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That lines up about right here, and so our ordered pair there is positive 3, comma, negative 5. So I hope that those, you were able to do all those uh, well and, and work through that. Now, another piece that I want to talk about with ordered pairs right quick, besides plotting ordered pairs, is I also want to talk about ordered pairs as being actually the solution to something called a linear equation in two variables. Okay, uh, And so we'll actually come back to that on our next video. This video was plotting ordered pairs. Next we'll talk about ordered, uh, ordered pairs being solutions uh, to linear equations and two variables. I'll catch you on that next video. Thanks.